Inspectors have determined this bridge is structurally deficient. It's 60 years old, it's rusted and crumbling. Replacement is a priority because of what it connects. Trade Point Atlantic represents the economic future of Baltimore County. Companies already located there employ 12,000 people. We know that the infusion of, of jobs at Trade Point is a major win for the entire region, uh, but it also creates additional pressure on the surrounding aging infrastructure. The Baltimore County Executive is referring to the bridge linking Trade Point to the rest of the county. It's a relic. Inspectors have declared it structurally deficient, which means it won't be able to handle the weight load of daily traffic much longer. Traffic is expected to quadruple by the year 2037. We all have big plans for Trade Point Atlantic, and we need to ensure these men and women can get to work and return home to their families each and every day. In order to do that, Baltimore County plans to use some of the $409 million available to Maryland over the next five years under the Infrastructure Investment Act to replace the bridge. This Route 157 overpass is an illustration of these funds in action. It is so critically important. We have bridges that are in danger of falling down. Nearly 300 bridges across the state are now designated as structurally deficient. The federal money will allow local officials to catch up on fixing or replacing them and give travelers peace of mind. When you cross that bridge, you're not thinking about it. You can take it for granted. Infrastructure should be seen, not heard. In other words, we don't want it crashing around us. Replacing the bridge will take four years and will cost $19 million. This includes the cost and time frame of the design phase. In Dundalk, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.